good evening everyone out there i want to appreciate you for being part of this program again today we started something very outstanding last week and um, please share with your friends my name is olufunke aditubel we are going on a journey of parenting be a wise sex parent don't raise your children as if they don't know what they are doing as if you are an ignoramus don't raise them to sit down somewhere and go through life like a goat going to a slaughter a slaughterhouse i've seen so many children <laughs> recently i can even read it to you a 23 year old girl she got pregnant how many weeks one one month four weeks there's no one she could tell i told her to tell her mom she said her mom will kill her if the foundation be destroyed what can the righteous do we are laying a foundation that will help you to raise your children and be a sex wise parent we are living in a sex world everything about this world we are living in is sex 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 even adults they have made it a profession they talk so much about sex to an extent that you know it can be gory to your ears at times on different platforms on social media so many adults don't even see anything wrong in talking about it so some of the things we're talking about here is not new it's not new to our children it's not new in the system it's not new with the kids that your children relate with i discovered that some of us we felt when we were growing up we felt we were raising our children in heaven we didn't know that they knew everything they, they even know more than us while they were growing up it was when they began to develop and we began to notice some things we were wondering where did they get it from oh you don't understand sex is everywhere a lot of i'm going to be very very detailed please don't miss any of the episode this is day two or episode two on why said be a sex wise parent and let me say this to everyone listening to me today please share this tell your friends i'm live on facebook on instagram and on my youtube please join me on my youtube channel and like and subscribe and share 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 one thing i know that the devil cannot take from a man is knowledge my mother used to say the way you know how to behave that's why you are going to behave the no, the way you are wise on how to behave that's how you're going to behave i'm trying i try to interpret it in the way that you understand but exactly how it is is what she said you cannot relate above what you know we are all products of what we know and if you are telling me well i don't know i don't know for the fact that you don't believe in the law of gravity that does not mean that the law of gravity does not exist whatever you don't know will kill you i was telling someone i said somebody said i don't i don't i don't believe that um, there's life wire or there's life in the socket and you put your hand there so sorry about it heaven untimely death would give us the news that somebody who does not know what is doing or what she's doing has become a victim of ignorance i don't want you to become a victim of ignorance i know some of us like i said last time i spoke about this i said some of us we came through sex you, you enjoyed the gift of sexuality that's why you came to this world for your children let them understand the gift that god gave to us of of being sexual as an individual being sexual is not out of order being sexual is not sin being sexual is not that you are not godly god is the originator of sex he said they were both naked they were not ashamed so please don't ever ever assume that the issue of your sexuality is a taboo or something you have to be ashamed of most important words in the life of a parent the most great the greatest asset let me put it that way that you can give to your children is to tell them how sexually created they are as a being that they are sexual being that's the best gift you can give to them you don't want them to learn it on the street you don't want them to learn it you know while you know trying to be seduced or or in the hand of a pedophile or you want them to be to be giving drugs you know to sleep then their virginity is broken some of them go to parties they are not aware 
they drug them, they make them to sleep and, you know, they mess up with their lives. You don't want it to be so bad like that. I wish you could listen, you know, because of the things I do. I deal with issues. I deal with a lot of things that people don't really want to talk about. I deal with secrets. And, you know, when you are asking people about their sexuality, they, they, especially those that are addicted to sex, addicted to sex especially because i'm talking about sex today most of them were exposed to sex wrongly through one uncle trusted uncle trusted aunties now listen to me today don't ever relate anything that has to do with sex with only women it is not gender based Please have that at the back of your mind. So when you have your male child, don't assume, oh, oh, I'll keep my girls, I'll keep my girls, I'll protect my girls. No, 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 no. You protect every child, every soul that is trusted into your hands. You protect them. If you don't protect them, at the end of the day, you will just find out that your boys are more messed up than the girls. That's why we live, we live in a culture where, you know, everything looks masculine everything is take taking with masculinity ah, is a man is a boy is a boy it's worse with them it's worse with them in the sense that by the time they go crazy and go haywire with their sexuality they cannot be hold you see them just pregnant i've seen a guy recently the mother called me and said ma my son has pregnated five girls in five years five girls so don't please don't let's stereotype our minds you know to the fact that oh for guys it's not a problem you know some men some parents are even myopic they are not smart up there they will say you know what it's a boy like his life will continue who told you his life cannot continue you pregnant five girls in five years your life is talk come on sex is not a contract sex is a covenant everyone i've told us and i'm saying it again when <laughs> 14 invisible people are going into marriage. 14 people you don't see. 14. Everybody you have had sex with in your life is going into your marriage. You don't know the beauty and the gift of virginity. Probably I will take a topic on that in this Be Sex Wise in Parenting. You don't know that every soul that you are now when when I talk, when I say sex is a covenant, it's not a it's not it's not a you are not doing a you are not entering a contract. You are going into a covenant, a blood covenant for that matter. You and your mom slept. I take two <laughs> excuse me, pardon me. I said take two. I thought I was recording. You know, you and your wife had sex. They had you. What is the result of the spermatozoa? It turns to blood. Now, blood is you. You are blood. So when you are having sex with a woman that is not married to you, or you are not married to, you are entering a blood covenant with so many of them. Now, what happens at the end of the day? You have pregnated four women in four different... <laughs> it's not even funny. I, can't, I still can't wrap my head around it. I've not been able to talk to that mother. I'm just telling her, just calm down. You will figure things, something out. But the point is, you cannot allow yourself to be distributing your soul everywhere, soul for sale. You can't tell your son, don't worry, you're a boy. Whatever you do, you will get away with it. You are killing somebody here. You are truncating a future here. You are messing up a destiny here. Look at Solomon. Look at Samson. Look at great men. I've seen people with great potential, great mandate, great future, they have what it takes. They, they have the gift of God. They operate in the gift of the prophetic, in the evangelical, in the, in the teaching ministry. And on the altar of sex, their, trunk, their destiny, their ministry, their mandate, their marriage is truncated. All of them. Because let me say something. You know, when you read the scriptures, you, you read the book of Proverbs, you read the book of Job. You know, Job did something and he said something that touched my heart. Despite the fact that he was wealthy, loaded, rich, the richest man in the East, the Bible says his wife said, would you still keep your integrity? When he was replying his boy, his men, his friends, he said, come, 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 come. If I have slept with a widow, you know how people take advantage of widows. 
people profit by people's vulnerability because you don't have money because you are you are vulnerable instead of helping you and let god be glorified in the help they want to sleep with you they want to touch your body they want to demand you are asking them to help you to raise your children to send your children to school they are telling you until i sleep with you i will not let you go but job said no if i had done that two things number one let another man grind with my grind with on my wife in public let me say this to men that commit adultery if you are a man job said it i will back it up with the scriptures job said if i have slept with a woman that is not my wife let another man grind on my wife meaning that when i as a man if you commit adultery you sleep with another woman what happens to you is simple you are exposing your wife to adultery most men that commit adultery exposes their wife now if you're a woman your husband is living an adulterous life you can count so many girlfriend he, he password his phone he's living a reckless life sexually you are hearing me now don't allow anybody it is knowledge that delivers when i saw that revelation from the scriptures there are some determination you will make i say whatever a man is doing he's doing his life you your record will be clean sexually before god like I said, sex is not a contract, it's a covenant. The moment you get into that place of being sexual with another man that is not your husband or your wife, what you're doing is you're entering a covenant. That is for a man. You're exposing your wife. Now, if you're a woman, hear me today, clearly. If you're a woman and you are committing adultery, you are cursing your children. Because your children came from your private part, from your part. And when you expose it to sex... You commit adultery. You are cursing your children. Children of women that does not stay in their home. Despite the fact that their husband is sleeping around, they don't come out well because you are cursing them. Take it to the bank. Now, how do I mean? Would you be able to pray when somebody has just slept with you because of money? Listen to me. Most women that commit adultery, they are lazy. Walk. The Bible said the hand of the diligent will be a rule. Thou set a man that is diligent in his business. He will walk before kings and not ordinary men. You don't have to be a, a dog. You don't have to be a whore. You don't have to be a low show. You don't have to be a prostitute to come out well in life. If you are hard working, your gift will make room for you. That is how it works. Oh God, I'm changing my topic. Well, I have to say that to parents. Because definitely, if I don't say it to parents, and they don't know what to give to their kids, what would they do? Let's go back to being a sex wise parent. I'm cautioning myself. You know, when I'm talking about my pain and my passion, when I say pain, I'm talking about the things that gets me having sleepless nights. I just a lady just sent me a text, and I'm sure she's watching me that she's pregnant. I couldn't sleep again. I had to jump from the bed. What a life. And this is what I see every day. This please don't miss to Sundays she matters. Some of you will be shocked. What will happen? <laughs> Sunday's she matters, you can't miss it. You will listen to some things, you'll be scared yourself as a woman. Thank God that one is she matters. So like I said, the most important word to give to your children growing up is to expose them to the truth. Don't, hear, don't misunderstand me. The truth about the, that, about the fact that they are sexual being. That truth is very important. Let them know. Thank you so much. Let them know. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm sorry if I'm not greeting you properly. I'm not appreciating you. Just know that there's so much in my heart and I can't spend more than one hour. That's the deal. Most important words, like I said, you should give to your children is sex, sex, world. Let them know that they are sexual being. Start to talk about sex to your children as soon as they start to talk. When they know A, when they can talk, mommy, daddy, food, beats, no yes that is the time to start to talk about sex to them now how do i mean i want to wash your face i'm coming down now i want to wash your face i want to wash your hand i want to wash your legs i want to wash your your vagina i want to wash your penis this cold thing can put you into trouble because if you can tell your child wash your hand i want to wash your leg let me clean your face so what stops you say let me clean your breast 
Let me clean your vagina. Let me clean your penis. Let those children know that the issue of sexuality or the word sex can be discussed openly. It's not a taboo. It's not a secret. If you don't do that, you are telling your child to be ashamed and to be secretive about it. About the issue of their sexuality. And when, oh God, I'm going to be talking about pre predators, pedophiles. We're going to be addressing that shortly. Hear my heart and hear my heart clearly today. They are everywhere. Some of you parents, you don't know what you have done to your daughters. You don't know what you have done to your sons by just trusting one uncle, trusting one auntie. Hey. When you do that, some of us, listen to me, there are a lot of people here today, they are confirming what I'm saying. How their first, and your first sexual exposure determines your life. When I say your life, let me break it down. Your worth, your value, your self-esteem, your worth, how you carry yourself with dignity, with honor, whatever it is you do with your first sexual exposure determines all the choices you're going to make in your life apart from education you know when you're talking about your educational choices you don't have a choice you read your parents will tell you okay go and see a guy there and a counselor let him tell you do math do english do chemistry or read medicine read law fine but when it comes to emotional choices parents are you hearing me emotional choices it is the first exposure it is the information that is given to you as a baby that can talk please open up that conversation with your kids as soon as they know how to say yes and no start by saying your hand your breast your vagina your penis is part of the body excuse me it is not out of the body now, what I'm saying is this. Ring it to the bell of, your, of the ears of your children. Ring it as a bell in the ears of your children. You know, it's, I'm getting highly emotional because every day, every day, if I'm asking a thousand people a day about issues, it has to do with sexuality and these are adults. Children are not even asking me questions because they don't even know the questions to ask. Are you getting what I'm saying at all? Kids are not asking me questions. If an adult is asking me such gory, <laughs> mysterious questions, a girl told me, man, I've been living with HIV and I'm not married and my parent does not know. Does HIV put jump on somebody from the, from, the, from the tree? So when I'm passionate about things like this, please understand with me. Your first sexual exposure determines everything you can be a professor i mean you've seen what has happened in our various you know now that a professor would definitely be called called out pulled out wanting to make sexual advances to a student recorded and brought public and they have to face the panel and at the end of the day is i was telling the career is gone i was telling somebody today about this issue of being sex wise as parents i said have you sat down to think of there was a time, it's all over the social media, that a cops, a policeman was caught having sex with a woman in his office and he, and he died. Have you sat down to think about those children? The, 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 the weight, the dignity, the, the trauma, the abuse, the frustration in the lives of those children, the shame. And it's still sex. So why are we not going to talk about it? We have to talk about it to our kids from age when they can talk yes no i want i'm not eating i want to bath i don't want to i want to sleep i'm tired when they learn those few words that is the time to start we didn't know this i told you ignorance is not an excuse for the fact that we never we were not taught we did not know we were not trained nobody to taught us in that light does it change things or make things better for us and our children now the next generation is going to be worse our children we are talking about they did not have too much access to pornography i'm still going to talk about that they don't have access to movies 
They don't have access to soft spawn. Soft spawn. Spawn that is soft. Subtly. Craftily. Being introduced to them. They don't have it. Do you know that this day we have movies that are sexually inflicted. I'm choosing my words. In cartoons. Children's cartoons. They are subtly introducing lesbianism and gay. Find out. I'm still going to talk about that. I have so much in my heart. And I don't know. Time is just going. I've spent 20 minutes already. Now, how do I mean? Talk to your children about sex as if... Let me give you this simple illustration. There's a dog that the owner feeds. But before he feeds the dog, he makes some... He rings the bell. He rings the bell. Anytime the dog wants to eat, the bell rings. Or rings. Don't mind my English. Just follow me. Follow my heart. Are you getting me? At the end of the day, the dog has, has associated the issue of bell to food. The ringing of that bell to food. He has associated it to it. So even when food is not coming, even if they are not giving him food, as soon as the bell rings, he knows that food is coming. That is how I want you to be consciously, intentionally, deliberately communicate sex to your children so when the signal comes when there's a flag when there's a, 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 an action somewhere when there's a movement from anywhere from any quarters from any human being the, the bell will ring is somebody getting what i'm saying the bell will ring that is the foundation i'm laying today be very <coughs> open clean provide a place of comfort for your children to talk about their parts of their the parts of their body their sexuality everything that has to do with them you know why we have to do this when a vampire comes when a person that will take advantage of them comes when they found a pedophile or a rapist oh my god let me tell you this no wonder i'm feeling so i was you know as a woman i tried to ask myself i i always get in touch with my feelings i don't i don't feel things without asking myself what's drawing on what's happening why are you sad why are you happy i just remembered now a woman i, I wish i could play this to your ears because sometimes when i talk like this People don't understand what I am saying. They assume, oh, maybe she's trying to, she's just trying to talk. Oh, it's not on this phone. Maybe next episode, I will bring it up. Guess what? One woman told me that a seven, actually, she sent a picture of that woman, a boy to me. That boy is seven, seven, seven. I said, what about? Because it's my ministry phone. What about? She said, she said a, a man in the neighborhood it was as if he wanted to go and send that boy to get something for him he now took a knife on his neck and slept with a boy a man that man must go to jail i promised the woman by the law and the girl the guy could not talk the boy got home he couldn't sit down that's homosexual act you understand what I'm saying? I feel like crying now. I feel like crying. Now, how would that boy concentrate in school? How would that boy become what is... That boy is finished. That is a cultist. That is an arm robber. That's another pedophile. Most people that were sexually assaulted growing up, they were the ones that are assaulting people, hurting people, hurt people. Hurting people hurt people. You know, you understand what I'm talking about now. This is what, because I was wondering why am I so, you know, emotional and pained about this topic today. It how it came to me this morning. I couldn't see the picture of the of the. Imagine an adult calling. Oh God. Oh God. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help my emotions here. Yeah. Let me just hold my breath. Oh dear Lord. Ah. 
sorry let me just i need to just be calm you know i don't want to be too i'm getting heavily emotional about it because i just remember the picture of that boy's in us and it's like come on come on now help me here what would an adult and the point he just said he wanted to help him to buy something please protect your kids please can i say this family planning is not a sin the ones you can't have don't have them please that boy is another nuisance in the society make him a president make him a governor let him be a local government chairman is a local government chairman that has a secret struggle that is sexually stupid everywhere one lady just called me now this man sleeps with her married with children he's a politician is it his fault whether you're a doctor now let's leave let's leave religion because sometimes religion has made a lot of people sick actually look at it <laughs> whether you're on the pew or you're on the pulpit whether you're a christian or a muslim sexual struggle is is a siege is a bondage you need help serious help and you know some funny people will say oh why 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 is it that you, you you look somehow is it so because of you guys that are not okay sexually a woman should go and look for for tribal man even if you do you know that most men that are sexually sick and messed up they don't even look at the face i've seen some men that their husband will sleep with some women and you're wondering what look at your wife look at this person come on so it's not in the glass it's in the brain that's why we are saying pump everything to the brain of your children let it be like that dog that hears the ring or the sound of the bell and told knew that that know that the food is here make sure 24 7 you are you are discussing sexuality everywhere if you start doing that between the age one or two till they are a teenager it will be easy so when they are when they are being when they are being assaulted or harassed in any way they will come and say mom guess what dad guess what they they get the signal that's what i'm talking about the ringing of the bell for the dog to come and eat they won't be look, look at tama let's look at tama why would she not get if the mother was there or somebody has given her the clue about if, about sexuality and everything that boy that girl will not be raped that boy will not rape the girl you remember the story of tama and amnon destroyed her beauty that i'm not eventually died you see what i'm saying when we don't address these things they are killers they are killer disease they are serial killers any sexual struggle that is not well informed to your children to everyone around you will kill somebody at the end of the day i might be talking like a broken record now but very soon it's already here it's already here it's already here i'm going to give you an example what I'm saying is that when you discuss very well with your kids about their sexuality, by the time they get to an adolescent age, they won't have a problem because they, they discuss everything. They bring everything to the table. Between the age of 6 and 11, a child needs to be informed about everything that has to do with sex. And let me say this. this is the, that is the formative years from age 6 to 11. If you don't expose it to them and you don't talk about sex to your children, you will lose them. Because somebody will tell them, I've said it before. Now, do you know what that does to? It gives them solid value system. When you put this knowledge of their sexuality to them, it's build their worth, build their value, build their self-esteem know that my body is my private part i choose to give it to who i want to give it to not under direct not under compulsion it makes them to stand tall and stand 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 out sometimes i look let me say something about value system listen if you're a parent, let your children be proud of your sexuality too. You can't be bringing your child from school and you pick another teacher or one auntie or took a lift or gave somebody a lift and you are putting, you are making signs, you are making some, you know what I mean? You are giving some signals to that, that woman 
not the mother of your children in the car. You are killing something in your child. That's why, listen to me, deal with your struggles. Deal with your sexual perversion. Don't, don't, don't think, oh, it's, 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 it's okay, it's fine. It's, it's a guy thing. It's, it's, they are, we are living in men's world. No. No. I've told you what Job said. I told you, Amnon died. Tama died. Absalom that killed Tama was kissing guys. I wish I could go into foundation of some of these things. But just, I'm telling you what to do. Inform your children. Build their value system. Talk. Fill their soul with solid value system. Let me be honest with you. Such value system tells you that those people that are bringing junks, it will not stay. It will be like pouring the water at the back of the dock. Do you have people who are asking questions? Let me take one or two questions so that I'll be able to. Because already I'm, I've done half an hour. If you don't know who, what be available for the children, don't have them. Okay. Whatever it is. Any question on Instagram or Facebook. Of course, follow me on my YouTube channel. My YouTube handle is Funke Aditubel. Please like and subscribe. Let's draw traffic to that place so that we can have it all the time to be able to keep our lives going. Hmm. Another point I want to make, please keep the line of communication open to your children. Let them know that they can tell mommy anything, they can tell daddy anything. Some of you that see sex as taboo, that feels that, you know, when you are relating with your kids, don't relate with them with fear. They are not, you are not a, you, are, you shouldn't be a bully as parents. You shouldn't be a God. We relate to God. That's why I don't want to use the word God. Even when you sin, you come boldly to him and receive mercy. The only thing that happens is when you are living in sin, you break fellowship with him. And I can't miss that fellowship. It's sweet. I want to pray. I want to, I want to tongue. I want to feel comfortable in his presence. That's the beauty Anybody trying to call me, let me know if you want us to. If you want me to invite you, Ade Bayosuli, I'm calling you. We want to go live. If you don't, if you're available, let me see your face. I'm trying to call you now. Let's go live. I trust that the network is good at your end. Who is that? We are here already. Hello? No problems. Are you asking questions? Okay, she just she just did that on her. Please, I have a question, Ma. Go ahead with your question, please. Let me let me let me let me tell this person. Yes, whatever question you have, please. Um ask your question, please. I'm pinning that. Ask your question. I have a question. Go ahead with your question. Now, let me drop this also. Your children must know the difference between secrecy and privacy. Hey, recently I had an encounter. I need to share it with you. You know, I took one of my devices that I used to listen to music, messages, and Bible. I gave it to my grandson to listen. There was a particular message there that talked about David. Is it David? No. David, who kept? Okay. Joseph. You know, I didn't know what the person was saying. That's not in Nigerian talking. You know. that, I mean, for you to know that if you are not wise in teaching your children about everything and bringing it to the public with them and they are not free to talk to you, you are breeding a time bomb. You are breeding a rebel. So I just put it on his ears. Hey! Put it on his ears to just listen. He just told his mom. He just said, mom, it's, not, it's good to keep secret. The mother said, thank God for sensitive mothers. Thank God for women that are all, all over their children. You better be all over them. The formative years is the most delicate year in the life of any child. There's nothing you can do about it. Very delicate. She said, where did you get that from? Secret. Secret. I just remember, just, the mother just said, Grandma, this thing you gave to, her, to him. He listened to it and the word secret came up and he told his mom mom i can keep secrets it's not everything you tell everybody i said what the mother now said no 
It's everything you tell everybody. I have to debunk it. When I saw it again, I had to cancel it. I had to intentionally cancel it. Now, you don't know if somebody around that child is not sensitive and is able to get it. That word keeping secret, the mother said it. That word keeping secret can be there for life. And he would just say, I know, you don't share everything. And what happened? Joseph exposed his secret to his siblings and they hurt him. And he's trying to, I mean, his brain cannot comprehend that for now. That is age five. Those, those years, that formative years or years in the lives of your children is something you cannot play with. You that are having, you have adults, you have, you know, people that are grown up. Is your life but when it comes to if you are privileged to be hearing me now and you have children that are growing up this is gold for you mine it tell them things and watch your kids flourish and let me tell you something today that i need to say before i start to take questions please go ahead with your question let's just do questions and write your question down because calling you in might give us a little bit of a challenge so let's let's just you know together talk about sex to them separately okay the question is can i sit my girls and boys together to talk about sex to them or separately together if you don't talk to them together do you notice that children that goes to girls school they become lesbians most of them their first exposure to lesbianism is in their school girls school not all of them don't get me wrong i'm not paranoid i'm just talking based on the statistics of the things i've listened to and the things that people share with me that is their secret now that is one number two when you discuss with them they know is a topic that has to be shared at home don't separate them they, they, they have vagina they have penis do you know why i said this listen to me if you don't discuss sex with your girls when they begin to see blood coming out of their private parts unexpectedly they will not be embarrassed when they see their pennies standing up without telling it to stand up they will not feel embarrassed when your child hear me today i really want to appeal to men maybe you should just share this with some men for them to know that Men has a lot of work to do in the lives of their boys and girls. It's only a man that can lead his or her son to a place of sexual purity. Women, if you don't have your husband there, do it. Oh, God will help you. But if you are a man and you are listening to me, can you take that responsibility off your wife and let us discuss sex, discuss wet dreams with your son, discuss erection, discuss menstruation now imagine your father is your hero your father is your pride and your father comes up with this kind of topic you feel so good you feel confident because every child's father is their hero my dad had told me now because you know we are living in the world where men prey on girls and you have told your daughter a lot of things about their sexuality the man is the, the girl is good to go i told you i was preaching somewhere several years ago in the u.s and this man we went for a dinner after my preaching engagement and the family the children the you know the husband the wife and the, all of us were at the dining table i didn't even know that the the, the girl the only girl they have was on their, his way to the university and right on the dining table the father just spoke up he said my daughter is the prettiest girl in tennessee i'm not sure if they will listen to this and the 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 the, the girl just she, she's it's like she just flourish she just blows up i saw i saw life i saw life in that girl question right you know i saw life and as soon as i saw that life i said wow thank you sir thank you for doing this do you know that in, in, in nigeria we call it october rush do you know there's no way one guy will tell that girl she's pretty or she's beautiful in the in on campus in hundred level that the girl will listen because our hero has told her she's the prettiest girl in Tennessee. How do a parent go about discussing sex issues with her children? I said it already. One of the ways to do it is 
start with normal place in the morning i want to wash your hand i want to wash your breast i want to wash your penis i want to wash your vagina let them know that they have it's still part of the body everything my face my ears my nails everything is part of the body let them know when you are discussing that when it comes to coming to the issue of sexuality probably menstruation uh, coming having to notice that the breast is coming out having to wake up in the morning and see blood having to just find out that his private part is standing without anybody doing it it can be discussed and how do you put it it's normal we are all sexual beings. your sexual life is a gift god has given to you it has to be protected as you are protecting your books protecting your mind protecting yourself against accident against you know you are not touching life fire you are not doing anything that's how you should protect your sexuality teach them values let me come back to this before i leave you today you are asking me the girl listen to me don't ever exchange wealth for values that you are giving to your children the parents of this girl christland girl had enough money to send them on an excursion in dubai they did not have enough wisdom moral standard values to let that girl know about herself now the question is parenting is what i'm talking about where was the mom when she had 200 and 25,000 followership dancing on social media now the type of dance you will know the type of sexual activity this girl engaged in i said it in my last episode sincerely adults those that are elderly they cannot engage in such an act it was all over social media because the foundation the value system is not on point let me put it in a layman's language now listen finally we are living in a sex world like i said some of us you do something that is delicate that you are living your life you are living on a borrowed time and you are living already on an explosive bomb this generation of having your phone giving it to your children to engage them hey you don't know what they are taking in some of them when you notice your kids they say you are stupid you are foolish you are not on his line some of these movies that is not censored some of these cartoons even youtube has done something now they make sure that when you are opening a, a, a youtube channel for your children is a is for the kids even the kids, parents have to put the name and the password. Even then, is it the same value a white man will have? <laughs> you know, you know our culture. Our culture is not the same. They can be rude. They can be nasty. They can say you're stupid. Except the ones that you know. So monitor them. Don't dump your phone for your kids in the name of let me rest. By Jen Simi, just allow me to be. Don't again. If you have to do it, be there. Do you know something? So many children, they became sexually perverse because of those movies you watch. Some of you mothers, parents, you are addicted to these romantic movies. Right in the sitting room, your kids are there. You think they don't have brain. They are brain the part of the brain is, the sexual part of the brain is large. I don't want to be too scientific here because I want to come to everybody's level. It's large. And it's soot, it's soot name. I'm still going to explain that later. Sex is sweet. Sex, the height of pleasure is in sex. So the moment they taste it before time, that's the end. That's why they masturbate to stupor. And the moment they are out of masturbation, they are acting out. I've seen men. I'm talking about people that has the fear of God. Please forget religion in this issue we are talking about. Religion is not an issue at all. When you are born again, it's your spirit that is born again. Your soul and your body is not born again. David said, it makes me to lie down and it restores my soul. The soulish life is not the same. There are two different things. Your soul 
and your body your body is the carton your son is like you have a tin of milk the milk is inside if you are not born again you are of a soul and of the body when you are born again your spirit is ignited spirit has to grow you have to grow pray in the spirit develop the fruit of the spirit the gift of the spirit your children are not born again when you get back to them even if you are a bishop or a pastor they have to go through the normal process of the fallen nature the adamic nature so dumping them to watch films on the phone film that is not censored even in our movies in africa movie industry will tell you rated 18 rated 18 parental guidance they will write a pg and some of those know some of us don't even bother we act as if we are illiterate and before you know you're not wondering where did you get this from they are calling you from school they are telling you that your your, your kids are acting out sexually they are telling you your your kids is is calling somebody to do something that is private because there is no value because you are not sensitive a woman is giving 30 solid powers one of them is the power of sensitivity yes i'm using this medium to let you know that the women college of ministry we are resuming this saturday 12 to 4 p.m solid some of the things I'm discussing here, they are, I, I don't have enough time. I'm going, I, what I do is we go to the foundation of every struggle. We root it out. We trace it. We face it. We erase it. And we, we start to replace it. By the time we are done in six weeks, we are good to fly to anywhere. And listen to me. If you are listening to me from any part of the world, distance is not a barrier. You can, the Zoom classes is as solid as you are seated in a physical class. So nothing is missing. A lot of companies all over the world, they don't even do, they don't do their businesses anymore. V virtually, physically. They do it virtually and they enjoy what they are doing. So don't even feel, except you don't understand the dynamics of the new age. That you think that, oh, when I get on Zoom, I may not be able to take all I can. You will take all you can. Our Zoom classes is solid. And we have different devices, no 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 hiccups at all for the women college of ministry we are resuming by the grace of god this saturday time is 12 to 4. if you are interested in joining or send us a dm or send me a text or a dm on instagram facebook or anywhere but if you can't do that let me just put the number to text you have them my numbers are always available uh 080 232 42389 two, 08023242389 let it be recorded typing it is do you have any question anymore please your question more 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 if you have another question let's take it we have a few minutes to go please don't make your device your phone a tool that will destroy your children by giving it to them because you want to have rest it happens a lot with all our parents now just see their kids bury their head in movies in films children kiddies cartoon all these things please when the kids when our kids were growing up when our children were growing up they didn't grow up with this kind of thing and with that we still make them to play with with you know games and all of that which affected their education let them focus on their school there's time to play i'm not saying is there's no time to play if you want to get them involved in anything put things that will show them value when my kids were growing i was buying i bought a lot of christian things if it depends on your religion just put value in them i'm a christian so we gave them books we gave them things to read we gave them Donuts, man, a lot of things. Please source for those information and give it to them. Lovely Bible stories. The story in the Bible is a, is enough a drama. What about Daniel? You can you can you can magnify Daniel to them. How he got to the lions then, and the lion did not kill him. Why? God was with him. He, the head of, of of lion became the pillow for 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 for, for the for the for Daniel. He slept. And the people came and said, oh, Daniel is not dead. God, you know, you could make them engage your children. Let me say that in closing. Engage them. If you know you are depressed, please, the Women College of Ministry is a solution. Because, listen, I said it. 
yeah, on the last episode, I said, where to elephant fight? It's the grass that suffers. It's not, it's some grass don't even suffer. They don't, they don't have life again. They are as good as a, as a concrete floor after the fight of the two elephants. And it depends on the, the, the length of the fight. And some of you, when a, thing, a little thing happened in your relationship with your husband or with your wife, your kids get to know you are not helping them. Get a counselor, respect professionals, get someone to, to vent with. Yay! I have some parents here that are pedophiles. Let me quickly say that I'm running out of time. Oh my days, time is not on my side. Let me tell you something. All of you, that I'm going to please don't miss she matters on Sunday. Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. My I think I'm full on Facebook, Instagram. Please share, share, share with me on my youtube channel and subscribe let's rush to that youtube channel and subscribe let me tell you something today the moment you, you are fighting your spouse and the next thing is discussing your children or telling them or talking to your kids and saying that and see your father see what he has done you are messing up the minds of those children you are destroying their future. You are making them to see that relationship is not necessary. <laughs> the case I'm going to share with you on Sunday. You, I'm not sharing with you. You will hear the voice at it yourself. You will listen to what I'm saying. And you are wondering, do you mean that a, a parent will be like this in a generation like this? And, destroy, and watch your life destroy your children in your presence because... You are not emotionally stable. Call someone. Seek help. And please don't cry before someone that will not say sorry to you. Because a lot of people will cry. They will shed tears and talk to somebody that will put their case on CNN or on the news. No. Make sure you are discussing with someone that would help you. How do you help someone addicted to masturbation and pornography? We have to get to talk to me. Send me a DM. We do therapy for people that are addicted to sex to pornography and masturbation now when it comes to masturbation what happens is very simple addiction is not in the act it's in the brain what happens to a man or a woman that masturbates please i've told you when we are talking about sexual matter don't think it's gender based i have female that masturbates to any level that you cannot even think of so what we do is we retrain the brain it's in the brain it's not in the act what happens is when you are addicted to anything, yours is just masturbation or pornography. Some is anger. They are addicted to anger. Some is food. Some is stealing. Some is lying. Whatever you do that makes you feel good over the time, over, year, over several years or decades, then it becomes part of you. Addiction is simple. It's a habit that has not, has not become part of you. It's just a habit that has become part of you. So when that habit 